Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and in today's video we're doing a home project. Since we have so much time on our hands, I decided to spray paint these old chairs and this table. Our parents actually gave them to us. So the first thing I'm going to do is rinse them off with water. They've been outside all winter and spring so they're dirty so I'm just rinsing them off with the holes. And once that is done, I let them dry completely and once they were dried then that's when I started to spray paint them I'm going to lay out a tarp that we had in the backyard and just lay everything on there just because I didn't want that paint to get on the cement that we have and I also didn't want the paint to get on the grass so that is why I'm doing that then I'm going to lay each chair on the tarp and then start spray painting I decided I wanted to paint the chairs black and I'm using this spray paint that I got from Home Depot and it's a matte black and it's high heat which is very important because it's black and it attracts the heat a little bit more I got the high heat so that way the spray paint doesn't chip off of the chairs during the summertime so just keep that in mind first I start spray painting the top which I learned later that it was better to spray the bottom of the chair first because all that excess paint stays at the top of the chair. So if you start with the bottom first and then go in with the top, the top is like more flawless. And you know, no one really sees the bottom of the chair so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I definitely suggest that. The legs were a little difficult. Um, also, I did the first layer one day and then the second day I had to you know go back and do certain spots so it was flawless so this took me two days I'm sure if you start really early in the morning and then you know wait a little bit at night then you can spray paint them again and it should be fine also another piece of advice is definitely buy double the spray paint that you think you need I bought two thinking that would be enough and that definitely wasn't enough I had to basically get one bottle of spray paint for each chair. So keep that in mind. Definitely buy extra. You can always keep it for other things or return it if you don't end up using it. Okay, so moving along, Miguel started to paint our table, and I wanted it also to be a black, but we actually got exterior black paint, and he has a spray gun, and he did the table. The table was much easier and faster for him to do with the spray gun, so if you do have a spray gun, definitely use that because it just will be so much quicker. And if you get exterior paint, it will definitely last a long time, and it won't chip because the table has been out there for days and nothing has happened so yeah okay and now we're moving on to the bigger chairs I'm using this paint also from Home Depot and it was a gray satin shade also we had these paint pots my parents just randomly dropped off the other day because they bought new ones and they're like oh do you want our old ones and I'm like yeah perfect we'll just spray paint them black I actually ended up getting some white flowers to put in our house is gray and black so it just goes hand in hand Miguel sprays that with the paint gun as well and I'm just in the background painting those orange chairs to gray also a tip if you see on my spray can I have like this little like gadget on top it's like a handle that you can buy separately I definitely recommend to get that because with the black chairs I didn't use that and my fingers and hands were literally cramping because the little nozzle is so small so it's like five or six dollars for that handle and it's so much more comfortable especially if you're spray painting a lot of items these chairs were also a hassle because you had to get every crack every crevice of this chair but I am so happy with the result with everything everything so cohesive together every gray and I'm just loving it and those chairs in matte black like I love it it just it's different you know it for me I love it more than like a glossy finish so I love how that turned out and then the pop of gray 
with these chairs i still want to get a new patio set but i figured you can a never have too many chairs outside because you have so many guests you know coming and you can never have an, you know well maybe enough tables but you know a second table won't hurt <laughs> but yeah i love how this came out And this is how the flower pods came out. I bought some white flowers to go in them and we're going to put these in the front of our house. So I can't wait. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.